Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. Today we're going to look at the precordial thump in a short film presented by Tony, our paramedic, who presents our advanced life support course. We're just going to quickly look at the concept of a precordial thump. We know that when a heart goes into a shockable rhythm, the quicker that we can deliver that shock, the more chances of us reversing that into a rhythm that will support a cardiac output, the better it is for the patient. So in a case where we've got a patient who goes into an arrest that we witness ourselves and when the patient is already on the monitor and we can confirm immediately that the patient is in VF or pulseless VT, we need to expose the chest. Identify the centre of the chest and form a fist. And from approximately six inches above the chest, deliver a short, sharp thump once. This will generate approximately 20 joules of electricity and potentially maybe just what's needed to restart the heart. If this fails, then we need to switch back to our traditional defibrillation, delivering a DC shock. Just to reinforce that this is not a first aid measure. It's for a situation where the patient is already on a cardiac monitor and they're going to a shockable rhythm that's witnessed by yourself. And to add a, a bit of real life experience to the precordial thump situation, there's been a number of times in my career where I've actually delivered a precordial thump and had a positive outcome. On one occasion actually, the chap was sat in an armchair in an upright position and suddenly became unresponsive uh, in the presence of his wife. The patient was monitored, I could see that he'd gone into VF and the quickest and most straightforward thing for me to do in that instance was to thump the gentleman on the chest, albeit in an upright position. He immediately reverted back to a sinus rhythm and gained consciousness within the space of a few seconds. This, of course, looked quite traumatic to his good lady wife, and I had to apologise um, for the apparent assault on her husband, although she was extremely grateful for the fact that he was now alive. <laughs> 